Hello and welcome back to Cynthia's Conversation. I'm still here with my one and only, Amaka Ruru. Hi, yeah. Hello, Amaka, please read for us. I'm here to ask opinions with women who have given birth. Please, how do you know you want a child? This has been worrisome to me for years. I don't know if I want a child. A child. Every time I think of having, bearing a child, I'm always scared, especially with the whole responsibilities that follows. How to take care of a child and how the child grow up to become, how the child will grow up to become. I don't even know how to take care of babies. I only greet and I admire them from a distance. I'm not married, but engaged. And every time my fiance and I discuss this, I'm only scared as if my world is about to end. Please, how do you know you want a child of your own? Mm. Mm. That's, That's a, a tough, tough one. Um, do you want to start or should I? No, you start. Mm. How do you know if you want to have a child? Um, I would say from my own experience, do I... I've always said I wanted six kids. But looking back now, like I've always said sometimes, I say if I probably could see my future now, I probably would have chosen not to. But that doesn't mean I don't love my kids. The thing is, I know the responsibility of having a cho children is huge. And secondly, is mentally, physically, emotionally, financially draining. The question you should be asking yourself is, why do you feel that you don't want a child? Is it just because of the responsibility or there is another underlying issues? Or what are you scared? Because I have an auntie who used to be a midwife who have seen women giving birth and she was so traumatized, traumatized. and she never want to have kids again and now she should be in her late 60s and I don't she I don't think she ever had her children because so the question will be why are you so scared of having children that's what you should you should think um, about. okay you said how do you know if you want a child you never know you never know it's one of those things that you don't know how you feel until you've done it. That, that is basically it. Did I ever... I wanted children, but, but uh, some people never did. Yeah, I wanted, uh, like I said, I wanted six kids. Was I ready the time I had my first child? No, probably You're not. never ready. But yeah, it happens, never. and then here we are, you know, 30 years on, I'm here. And <clears throat> will I change them for anything? Absolutely not. Um, uh, could I have made some better choices? Absolutely, yes. In the long run, am I grateful for the kids? Yes, I am. So for me, is if you said, are you ever wanted to have children? I'm not here to convince you to have children if you don't want to. But what I'm saying is, is there any other reason besides no, there isn't. The, exactly, beside no, no. the the responsibility that makes you don't want to have children? That's but in terms of how do you know whether you are ready? I always, like I said, I will always know that I want kids. So I don't know how you feel. And if you think you don't want it, there is no. So the, the, no. Her question is, how do you know that you want children? Not everybody. Some people. Because I have a friend that, when we're growing up, she said she never wanted children. When we're kids. Yeah. Just when we're children. Categorically. Categor when we're, we're young, we're young. I never played with baby dolls. Mm. I hate it, but don't good lord, no. I, 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 no. So people are shocked that I have, well, I only have boys anyway, so. But you know. Did you know what, Amaka? When I was a little, I didn't even have baby dolls, but I just love playing mothers. No, I never did that. How I was know. That? You know, like when you play the imaginary friend, mm. I've always been the mother. No, you know, so so yeah, so I, I was never the mother. I never I was never sort of maternal like that. Mm. But now this is my friend who categorically said she wasn't going to have to this was friend like just when we were kids, ten year old, oh yeah, playing she'll play with a dolly. I'll play with the cars, she never wants children. Do you remember children? She has six. Boy, she is an amazing mother. 
So you never know. You never, you never know until you until you have. If your partner, I always so. But deep down in me, I think I knew I wanted children. Responsibility is difficult. Yeah, it is. But it's something that I wouldn't give it. Well, I, well, I'm saying it's difficult because I'm doing it as a single parent. But even when we are married, it's still difficult. People, um, it depends it's on how easier. Yeah. I don't well, know if it's it, even easier. It depends on how you. Some people really don't care about their children, true. so they'll tell you. you so it depends true. on how you relate to your children. Mm -hmm. How some people have ten children and they, they don't really care. That, and I'm talking about even women now. One. They have one. They don't. Care. I, I and these are women. I'm not even talking about these are women. Okay, they have three. One. They, they don't really care. But you know what? You can never know until you're there. It's, it's an experience that we cannot tell you how you feel. Onto because people have different experiences. Some people, after one child, they're traumatized. They have a very difficult pregnancy. Yeah. They have a near death experience, and then and they, they, don't want to have and then they don't want to have any more children. Because I have friends like that yeah. who only have one child because not that they didn't want more, but because that first child they did, mm. and they don't have any more children. That's one. So it's it's one of those things that we can't tell you how you feel. When I had my first child, was I already no. But you know what? I knew after I had him, I was going to have more children. Mm. I wanted, because I wanted more children. As, but why was it? My, my, I'm, I'm one of the lucky few that I don't have trauma with my pregnancies. Or, but I can't, I can't tell you now. Nah, it's one of those things that you, 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 some people have the first time and they're like, oh my God, it's such an amazing feeling. And they have more children. Regardless of whether my, they have money or not. My because. Friends. My first was, wow, I, it was crazy. But I love kids. Like, if there is a house there that is a yeah, new baby. Yeah, but you can love kids, but not one no, have no, one of your own. There is a new baby, I never leave that place. And when I started, I, I hate my pregnancy because pregnancy, I am so. Oh, she's a nasty. If she gets pregnant now, I'm moving to Australia. I can't even go. And I block my number. And I throw my phone away. Look at and you. I don't exist. You finally be a godmother that you I don't know. want. Hey, this woman should not get pregnant. Hey, God. For who now? I, I, I don't know. Just in some, just for some. I think if she gets pregnant, there's punishment for me. So I will disappear. Hey. There's one woman here. I can't mention her name. I told. Who are who? Who traveling with you? That's all what you think. Chill, take a chill pill. You're not getting pregnant too. No, I'm too old now. First of all. Hey, how old was Elizabeth when she go? Am I Elizabeth? I can be Elizabeth. Do I look like Elizabeth? You can change your name by this book. Wow. Listen, I am too old. And if, if I, I can play with Pucci, 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 Pucci. My darling, don't mind that. So having a child that is, don't, the thing is having a child, nobody thinks about the money and we don't really it's one of those things is it will come you will that love look at let me tell from my experience the love that comes because then they say ah the people say it's so painful and you go for another one and really and truly you tend to forget yes i'll tell you when i had my first son hi my man was like never never i don't do this anymore the minute they gave me that child, Your wow, I cried every time. I got my second child. Who sent me? Do you me know me? what I? Who sent me a message? Why did I get here? I was on labor. I was like, the doctor was like, why did I come here again? I am not doing this anymore. I can't deal with this. And then she do it again and again, again. and again and again. And you know what? I Look, would not give those children up. At the moment, the maybe. You are just in a phase of thinking, of scared of the. She's thinking too deep into and it. Or on the unknown. Mm. The thing with uh, pregnancy is everyone has different exactly. experience. All child babies are not the same. Some women go to labor half an hour, they have baby. Blood me. 24 hours, I'm still on that. Man, it's 15 minutes. Lucky you. Me, 24 bring, hours. Bring, bring. If that 24 hours mm -hmm. doesn't come. Yeah. They not come. If I have the same body that she had, I will have a full body. Team. My doctor told me that, yeah, I'm kind of going to have 10 children. Don't come back. 15 minutes. And my babies are not small. 10 pounds, 12 pounds. You've seen my children. Like, prim, prim, prim. And my stomach is buckled. I just go, prim, prim. 
Okay. You know when they say you wait for your water to break and you show, show okay. So I have to go to the hospital as they are breaking my water as they're <laughs> No, my own so I'm, I'm one of those. I'm, I pregnancy so to me is a daughter. You can see we both have different kids, experiences. Both different experiences. So your own might be different. You don't know, but the the, the joy, the joy of bringing a life to this world is like I don't know how to express it until you actually. Feel. I think it, unless maybe like you've seen. Her friend, maybe somebody that she knows as a single parent. Tough. It's one of those things. Yeah, majority of women didn't choose to be single. Before. I didn't choose. Unfortunately, these things happen. And this and things when happen. It happens, you just have to carry on doing. And there's a there's a reason for everything. everything. So a reason for everything. The joy. You, um, you. If you. The question is, if how do we know if you want your own children? You never know. You never know until you've experienced. Like I said, I wanted kids when I was younger. So if I did, but, it, she but I haven't. I have someone in my family now that categorically said that she doesn't want yeah. children because she was like the same thing you are saying that I I can't take care of myself, live alone, taking care of another person, but. You know, as us, especially we Africa, we only have this. We always say, "Yeah, okay, go and have it and bring it." No, but she has a partner, so she, anytime her fiance is talking about children, they, she's scared. That, yes. You have somebody that wants exactly. to have children with so you. So you, you, if it's you're not gonna that, be alone, it's not like exactly you're gonna have the child and you're gonna be on your own. And this person, you never know. The person might be here now, and the next six months is not there anymore. But all you need to know is. As soon as that child comes out, you will love everything. Especially if you love the person you're having it with. Even if you don't, you will still love the child. No, I would still that. love the child. Yeah, you would. But it, okay, now this guy loves you so much, he wants you to have his child. Yeah. Fair enough. And at that point in time, why not? Yeah. If you don't have any health issues, yeah. if you're scared, because even if I don't, I didn't have health issues, but you may have each four children, each child I have four. Each child that I had, I thought I was going to die. Do you understand? It's one of those things that we may just it's just human nature. I think and another thing that I will uh, it will be useful or helpful is to seek advice professionally, because they might be able to open the part of you that you are scared, and you'll be able to express to them the reasons why you are scared and how you feel and these people that's their job they will help you professionally to go through all your fears if at the end of that session there's nothing or a few sessions and you still feel the way you are feeling now socially be it uh, but you have to make your partner understand, understand and make scared. sure that's what he wants too because you might not want to have kids and he wants to have and children. it's not fair and it's not fair for you to say because you don't want to have he you should stay so if he choose to stay with you you should know exactly what he's getting into and if he choose to go and have his own children i hope you too will understand why he made that decision because he wants his own kids but i think unless there's something you know that you're not telling us yeah i think you should seek a professional help and and just Go, go from there. Unless there's and something after you know that, you're that after all that session and you still feel the same way as you are feeling now, then it doesn't make you like. And you don't. Not everyone has to have children. You can adopt. There are people adopt. that wants to have children, and they don't. Have, you can always adopt. adopt. And then you can always adopt a child. You don't. But there's another option. You can foster if you're in a place they can foster. Yeah, and then a baby. Exactly. And then from there you can, you can see, see whether, whether that, you can actually cook yeah. or not. So you, you can, can foster. There are, and now there are so many options. You can foster even as young as one day old baby, and just see if if your love for the child. Child, I'm like okay, I want to have one for my myself. Own, my own, and, then, and if it doesn't work, and you after you seek professional help, and you still or oh, you're afraid of carrying help. the child. That's so somebody else yes, can help you carry the child without you go your body going through all the that's why you're, that's one of the things that scared and I was scared that I was that's really why I said you need to speak to professionals yeah. and then at the end of it there are many options you'll be able to make a decision or adopt a dog adopt Monty we have this uh, cockatoo you can look at that cockatoo it's like a child though Mountain when when say parrot just cockatoo here is just adopted. It's like a child. They are looking at me. 
adopt no just foster it for a while if after that that child doesn't get stressed if I, if there you are want... certain things that i can't say on this camera because as i'm looking at you, you might lose your neck this night if not because of those four boys i swear to god hey, the is... person that was telling me to talk about and wanted behind the camera wasn't your you the be... person that was standing behind the camera to talk about is they're not it's me and Maka they are talking yeah, to yeah because you are the one sitting close to me the person my behind the camera my hand will but, she, but, she, but she sleeps, lives in this house Eh, hey, this is all our racist or, or tribal tribalism. Don't tell where you don't do it. You don't tell where you the hide that parrot. You don't tell. I don't like bush meat. I cook it with the bone. You don't tell where you hide that parrot. Adopt a dog and see if you can. Okay, leave the cockatoo. Because if I tell you adopt, you just put it in. You know, but just some bush meat. Don't listen. Adopt a dog. Don't adopt a dog. Go and seek professional help. You can. After that, if you still think that you're feeling this way, foster a child. After yeah, you, try you can that, that, at least, least try all the avenue that is available for you to explore. By the time you finish exploring and your decision is still the same, and then we know that. Then it doesn't things. make you less of a person. At all, at all, it doesn't make you less of any woman at all. At all, if you choose not to have. But if you have nieces and nephews, carry them. They're going to spend like a month in your house. And if after that month you want to break their neck, uh, it's okay. Whatever Even you my decide, children, you know? auntie. Please You're okay. Let us know. I love to. I love the feedback because I need. To All those that have told us that when their mind, we want to eat your fries. Where are they? They didn't invite us. Well, we just came from one wedding. dinner. Oh, it was very. Sure. I, it was very nice. They make me believe love still exists. Do I believe there's love? Yeah, I do. Just ignore us. Um, anyway, until, but until next time, until we have children. And I can't sit here and tell you not to have children. Exactly. And uh, because I, I would not my life will be without my kids. Ah. They are my life. They are not yours. They will those children, eh? They will annoy you. You wake up and like ah. who sent me ah, message? Every I'll minute. phone this one. I'm like, ah. come, save me, and save I'll me. Say, hey, we are both in the same boat. Save me, save me, save me, because I will strangle somebody yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? You wouldn't my life for would I do the same thing? Yes, I would. Would I have? Yes, I would. Yeah, do probably with their with different people. I don't know. I don't know. But mine for me would be with different people. I, I, well, mine. I, well, I don't know. Probably with the same. I don't know. No. Would I change anything? No, because I, that. But you know what? I said I love my kids, but I those boys I choose to have them with somebody. Else. Uh, we do make a difference. But anyway, until next time, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, I get. I can come. I like baby shower. And then tear powder down. Put powder. Bro. Don't you like to tear powder? <laughs> don't know. So I don't know if you're evil, whatever. Bring that Jesus. I don't you know powder, you know when you do tear powder down. Tear powder. I want to come and do Ikomo. What do you do? You rub if you're Yoruba, they do Ikomo. Seven days they're summary, then forty days eat pop off. Yells. You know what? Goodbye. Bye guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>